beautifuls. I'm just Jackie is here. I'm back. Listen, y'all see the title. I'm just going to jump right into it. Welcome to my new beautifuls. Thank you to all my regular beautifuls who keep coming back and watch my channel. Listen, I got a lot of stuff and hey, hey, I'm sharing you. I'm sharing with you guys my empties. It's been a minute. It's been a long time since I've done the empties, man. Long time. So, I, let's, like I said, let's let's just get it. Let's just go. Listen, first things first. Listen, this. This raw shea, um, shea butter, uh, Palmer Shea Formula Raw Shea Balm. This stuff is amazing. Let me tell you how amazing it is. I got two empties. Okay, so... If you tried it, let me know how you digging it. I'm just going to keep it moving. I, but I do highly recommend this stuff. It's it's so good. Okay. All right. Estee Lauder. Perfectly clean. Listen, I was with my homegirl, Petrina. And listen, we both got it. I know I fell in love with it. I don't know if she's still in love with it. But I am because you get triple action from this. Y'all know I love duality, triplality from product. This product gives you cleanser, toner, makeup remover all in one. And it leaves your skin feeling uh, super amazing. But I really just use it for, um, you know, makeup remover now. Okay. Now, this, no particular order. This is all about skincare and, and makeup, I believe. Skincare and makeup stuff. Oh, and hair. Okay, skincare, makeup, and hair. Speaking of hair. All right. This Ion 2. This is a purifying solution, um, clarifying shampoo. Um, just started using this this year. Um, it helps eliminate buildup, residue, and dullness from hair. Um, when I did my locks and I colored my hair for the first time, this was recommended, um, you know... Uh, I want to, is this cup? Damn it. No, is it? Shit, I can't remember. I can't remember if she recommended this to preserve color as well or not. But either or, it's 100% vegan, paraben free. But like I said, oh, no, it wasn't about the hair color. Like, you know, this helps. It, when I say this strips your hair, this really strips your hair moisture. But it's a, it's great for purifying. Now, did I Do I use this all the time on a regular no, but when I want to get that, my hair, you know, like I said, clean because stuff does build up, it, you know, um, me having locks, I don't have super product build up. I, if I have product build up, it's because I want to lay my edges down with gel, but you know, we use oils and all that stuff too. So like I said, you just want to get a super clean. This, this shampoo is, is really good. All right. Y'all, this NYX uh, Soft Focus, this stuff is... This is this is cool. Would I buy it again? No. Have I bought it again? No. Um, it's like a borderline dupe for the Mac. Um, for the Mac Prep and Prime, as you see me pulling it out right now. Um, I actually like the Mac Prep and Prime better. It does cost more. Um, but yeah, but I haven't even re-upped on either one of these two. I'm I'm just using different primers now. Okay. All right. Listen, I'm just grabbing stuff here. Um, this CoverGirl Queen Collection color corrector. Um, what color was this? This one, Sheer Espresso. When I tell you, I I love this stuff. Um, it says oil free, even skin tone. It says oil free, but I I have I have an oily T zone, so for me, it, it kind of gave me. It kind of gave me, uh, I don't even want to say dewy. It kind of looked kind of greasy on me, but you, you know, once I, you know, once I set up, set it with a mattifying powder, but the color mats was superb. You know what I'm saying? Um, would I buy this again? Yes. Have I seen it anywhere? No, I ain't seen it nowhere. I don't think I've seen it anywhere. Somebody let me know. Boom. All right. Look, we all know about this baby right here. This is the CoverGirl um, BB Cream um, Beauty Balm. And this one is Deep Sheer. This one was a little bit different. This one's specific, gear, specifically geared towards acne treatment. But this color is, and I got it because, you know, it was a deal. You know, and it was good. It felt good on the skin. This, would I buy this again? Yes. I like those that that CC cream and this and this specific brand of BB cream. 
shit. I'm just all I'm saying. Rimmel Long Lasting Finish Primer. Okay. Rimmel has some good ass primers. Look. Whoops. Here's the stay matte, right? I think I got another one in here too. If I can find it. Oh yeah, and this one. And the um the fix perfect. Now, since I have these three from Rimmel, um I listen, this stay matte primer will always be bay to me. I haven't purchased it in a minute because like I said, I'm just I'm just using other primers and stuff and um I'm being mindful of all the matte stuff. I know I have an oily T zone and stuff, but you know, I I use mattifying foundations. I use I got a mattifying primer. Like too much matte, you know, it's gonna make me so yeah, I'm, I'm being yeah. So definitely would recommend this. Everybody love I, like when this hit, everybody loved this. Um out of these two, I'm trying to remember which one did I like the most. I think it was this one. I like this one the most. But would I buy it again? Highly doubt it. This highly doubt it. But you know, if I'm on a road trip and I got an emergency and that's all they got, yeah. But I'm not gonna go shop for it. That's all that's all I'm saying. So let's y'all already know. Y'all seen the previous video. Empty. Okay. Let me see. I'm just trying to. All right. So this right here, Serene Body Sense Mango Shea Butter Moisturizer Growth Aid. This stuff right here is so good. I need to buy some more. I just haven't. This um Serene Body Sense is a is a company created by uh Naturally Nelsy. She is a YouTuber. I think she does the business with her mom, but great products. Uh I really like this. I never did a review on it, but this is a great product. Would I buy it again? Yes. Okay. All right. Pulling stuff out of the bag, y'all. All right. Mac. This is a fix fix plus mat. Uh prepper prime spray, whatever. Didn't like it. Will not buy this again. I got nothing else to say about it. I just didn't like it. Y'all let me know. Um, this is the regular one. You know, this was the travel size. Man, I like okay, travel size, you know, you traveling. But these days when I travel, I'll, I just check my goddamn bag in. So if I got a full size, it's going in my bag and it's getting checked. But if you, um, you know, if you're doing a carry-on, this is great for travel size. This is my all-time favorite prime, you know, uh, finishing spray. Um, the regular Prep and Prime Fix Plus by MAC. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. Urban RX familiar skincare okay so this one is the three-in-one tr treatment even tone cleansing bar oh it's two of them shit okay so both of these are the, i was thinking it was the other one even tone cleansing bar this is good um i like using this in the winter time I, I really did like using this in the winter time. I'm trying to think. Was it winter or summer? But it's another bar they got too. That I, I would change it up in the season. But uh, did it really even my skin tone? I would have to go with. I, I think it, you know, it, it did for the most part. But, you know, like I said, you got to switch your routine up. So will I buy this again? Yes, because I like the product and, you know, Maybe I'll do like a winter, spring, or summer, fall type thing. But yeah, I definitely will be buying this again. I, I like Urban RX. This is also geared to women of color too. All right, guys. Um, benefit the poor professional uh, primer. Eh, it was okay. It was, it was more hype than anything. I don't feel like it, yeah, it's it's more than the hype. Would I buy this again? No. Uh, it is a travel size. Eh, I wouldn't buy it again. No. All right. Hello, Specific Beauty. That's the toner. Empty. Y'all already know. Check the video if you ain't seen it. All right. Hello, Specific Beauty. <laughs> this is the, um, these are the pads. Empty. Let's go. Okay. This is the other one I was thinking about. This is Urban, um, Urban RX. 
and uh, Urban, yeah, Urban Skin RX. This is the other cleansing bar I was telling you thinking about. So this is a three in one treatment. Controls oil and blemishes, deep cleans pores. This shit is amazing. I love this stuff. Um, would I buy this again? Of course. This like this was probably like my second or third one that I I purchased. I think this is the third one I got. And um, hell yeah, I would buy this again. So like again. Skincare routine. Sometimes you need a winter one. You need a fall. Whatever. Winter, fall, summer, spring. I really feel like this one would be my winter one. No, my summer one. I think this was the one I used in the summertime. And then... No, no, no. It's, it's totally backwards, guys. I'm sorry. This is the one I used in the, the winter. And the other one was the, the summer. So, anyway. Bing! All right. Let's keep it going. Do y'all remember this? L'Oreal Revitalift. Listen, this stuff here is, is really good. It's really good. Like, all the properties that it says it, it does, it's, it's really good, guys. It's, it's really good, okay? I would highly recommend this. I would not pay full price for this. This is probably why I have not purchased another one. This thing is like $24 or whatever. That's the cheapest I've seen it. Um, And it's just like, I know you're like, girl, you don't buy other shit that costs more. Than and y'all right, but it's just certain things I, and certain brands I ain't paying that type of money for. I don't know. I'm weird. Y'all let me know. Keep it moving. But this shit is good. Okay. All right. Here you go. Listen. Another, you know, Prepper Prime. I'm telling you, this is Holy Grail shit right here, y'all. I love this stuff. Um, Let's see what else I got in here. I'm trying to pull out similar shit. Y'all, I'll be going. Boom, another one. I, listen, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Listen, this Wet n Wild uh, Primer Water. Three and one. I've talked about this. I think I did a haul, like a makeup haul, whatever. And I, you know, I mentioned these. Listen, oh, y'all, these are good. These are really good. This is a coconut. This is a cucumber. I think they got a rose water one too. But I, let me see. No, I don't think I got the rose water. But this is the one I'm using now. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. Fini matte. So this is a matte spray. So boom. That's what I'm, but it's not empty. Sorry. But I just wanted to show y'all what I'm using. All right. So, but these are so good. Would I buy these again? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. You can get these at the Dollar General store. Um, you can get these anywhere. You know, uh, Sephora. Well, no, I'm not going to say Sephora. I have no clue. But you can get it at, uh, I can't even think of my, my shit. What is Bay? I just totally drew a blank on the makeup store where we all go to. That's our favorite shit that has everything. And the only thing I can pop in my brain is Sephora. And that is not Sephora. Oh, I feel like I'm having a mental a mental breakdown. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. But yes, I would definitely buy these again. These are so good. So good. They're like, because it's three in one. It's a refresher spray. It's a primer. Um... And it's it's a prep, it's a set, and it's a refresher. So you you go spray it on before, you know what I'm saying? Then um then you could I I would say if you finish doing your makeup, you set it. And then like later on in the day, you know, you want to refresh your face. It's a refresh. I love I love it. It's the shits. It's so good. Here we go. Let's see. BH Cosmetics Makeup Setting Spray. This was okay. This was an okay uh, setting spray. Uh, it was okay. Would I buy it again? No. I feel like you. it's it's a lot of product uh, for a great price, but I wouldn't buy it again. So, no. Let's see what I got. I got so much stuff in this bag, guys. I'm trying to pull out the similar stuff all at one time. So, I won't be digging in this bag again. Because I'm about to show y'all. Y'all going to know this is bae when it comes to this product right here. Okay, y'all. Bae. Bae. This mascara is bae. Okay, so the pink one. 
I want to say the brush was different. That's the main thing about this pink one. Let me see. That's the brush. Let me see the black one. I think, yeah, I think the brush was, yep, yeah, the brush is different. So listen, y'all see I got these four empties and I already got more upstairs and still in the pack. Like when I, when I, when one goes empty, I'll make sure I buy another one. So I just don't never run out. You follow me? So I think I got two up, upstairs now that I haven't even touched. I love this mascara. This is the last sensational by Maybelline. And I always get the black is black. I think that's the color. Yeah. I love this. And then like girls, for us girls who do not do lashes, get you a good lash primer. This thing goes good. I feel like this goes good with any lash primer. So, but the lash primer that I have been using lately, oh crap. I can't think of the name of it. But my never mind. You'll see. All right, but bay. Bay. Bottom line. That's it. All right. This right here. This is a facial spray with aloe sage orange blossom. This is Mario Badescu. I hope I said it right. Listen. Patrina introduced me to this and I love it. I just haven't bought another one, but I need to. This this is this shit is so good, y'all. This is so good. And I still can't think of the name of the store. Why can't I think of the name of the store? Like I can see the I can see the the, the logo in my face, but I can't think of the store. Oh, it's a haul. What what haul? Forget it, y'all. Somebody tell me what store I'm thinking about because they Sephora. I cannot think of it for love, no change. But that's why I got it from Love This Shit. I want to buy some more. And this stuff is expensive, I think. But, like, they always got a good, um, they got good sales and stuff. You'll find it. You'll find it. It wasn't, okay, so, hold on. This wasn't expensive to buy. This was probably like $12. This is like travel size or something. It, either or it's worth the coin, Okay. It's worth it. All right, y'all. Let's see what else we... Oh, I'm making a mess in here. All right. What else we got? I feel like there's another one in here, but I don't see it. All right. I actually have an empty Fenty. Um, I can't remember what this color is. Was this three? I don't know what color this is. But either or, this was the first one I purchased. And yeah. Would I buy it again? Yeah. I already have another one upstairs, you know, but it ain't this color. I, but maybe I should have. But anyway, my daughter, my daughter had a color that did not work for her and it actually works for me. But, um, yeah, I love this stuff. Love 50. Yeah. Okay, guys. This BB cream by Kiss is the I'm going to say it's a shit. I just don't even consider it a BB cream because this this stuff co gives you coverage like a foundation. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a full face foundation. I love this stuff. The color I am is medium. And this shit is... I would buy this again. Like, I'm glad I pulled this out. I completely forgot about this. Because y'all... Like, I, I don't do a whole lot of makeup anymore. So, like, I don't... Like, if I want to do a simple face sometimes... And I, I just don't want that heavy look. I put, listen, boom, love that shit. I got that from the beauty supply store. That's where I got that that kiss from. All right, y'all. So I got this Mary Kay, Mary Kay mineral powder foundation. This stuff is actually good. It's actually good. Um, I like. At some point, I started using it to finish my under my under eye highlights and stuff. It's so good. Would I buy this again? No. I really just I really just ain't buying from Mary Kay. Like if um is there Mary Kay inside of Sephora or the other spot that I just can't think of right now? You know what I'm saying? I then I would do it that way, but I just ain't ordered separately. You know, listen, this oil mattifying primer from Mary Kay, this I will say this is the shit. It's really good. Would I buy it again if I could get it in the stores I shop at. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. This, this foundation, Lancome. This is the Lancome Photogenic Luminous. This is, 
This is good, y'all. This is good stuff. This is this was really good. Would I buy it again? I don't think so. Not because it wasn't good, but just because there's another Lancome that I think I already have or that I want to try. But anyway, but good shit, y'all. Good shit. This right here. Y'all remember when we fell in love with this L'Oreal True Match? Listen, I'm telling you right now. Look, I can hold it up. Y'all gonna be like, girl, that's your color? Listen, girls and boys, this was my color. This is the shit. This was, this was good, y'all. Like, would I buy this again? Yeah, I would. But, you know, at some point in your your makeup maturity life, you you got your staples, you got your holy grails, and I have found my staple in holy grail. So I don't, I, I would, like I said, if it's an emergency, I'm out and I lost my makeup bag and I need to hurry up and just get shit and go to the drugstore real quick. Yes, I would. So good shit, y'all. Like, if, like if I'm not no makeup, um, uh, I'm a makeup guru. I love makeup. I'm, I'm not a makeup artist. So like, you know, for us ladies who, like, you know, for us who are trying to learn how to apply makeup, but that drugstore brands are definitely good go tos because you're not um, spending too much coin, you know, and to try out products to see if you like. But I would say some of these goddamn drugstore brands are stepping up their game, so they are up in the ante on these prices, y'all. Just saying. <laughs> y'all remember this shit? Y'all remember this Maybelline fit? Th listen, this shit, everybody was going crazy over Maybelline fit and with as well deserved because this is a good foundation, especially, um, you know, our only girl, this matte joint. When I was doing my makeup every day, you know, and slaying this shit, this was one of my go-tos. Would I buy this again? Yes, of course I would. Again, if if I lost my makeup bag and I had to go pick up, I and I and there was no L'Oreal. Like, which one would I go to first, the L'Oreal or this one? I, I think I would go to the L'Oreal first. But this Joker is living my life like a golden. This is good. Good, good, good. And my color was three fifty five. Yeah, and look at me. Did he guess it before I said it? Three fifty. That's how you know you like that shit. Three fifty five, bitches. Going once, going twice. Sold. All right, y'all. Oh, now I remember what it is. God bless. I found something with the name on it. I've been trying to remember Ulta for the longest time. Okay, if I could get that American American shit at Ulta. Listen, I would buy that. I just don't feel like going to all these different sites for certain things anymore. Not that I'm lazy. I'm just, eh, I don't know. <laughs> lazy. All right, y'all. This Ulta Beauty Summer Fruit Facial Mist. This is so good. It's a, it's a refresher for your face. And then it's like, it feels so good. Like, you got a long day or whatever. And maybe you just got to go somewhere and, you know, you know, run, it just refreshes your face. But it feels so good. It just wakes you up and everything. This shit is good. And it's, it's, it don't hit your pockets. Um, It is Ulta brand. It's so good. I, I highly recommend this. Would I buy it again? Yeah. Um, If I can't find out Mario, this would be the one I would get. Yep. For sure. All right, y'all. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Thanks for hanging with, keeping, you know, rocking with me. All right. Y'all remember I was talking about, um, lash primers. Um, so my favorite lash primer is Urban Decay Subversion. This shit, you see it's two empties here. I'm using something else right now because I got it as like a free gift when I went to Sephora the last time. I can't think of it. It's not Marc Jacobs. Hold on. I'm sorry for being out of the camera. Sorry for being out of the camera, guys. Um, oh, it's Lancome. So I'm using Lancome right now. So yeah, but this is still my favorite. Um, shit, out of those two, I would still go with this Urban Decay Subversion. All the way, all, all, and I couldn't find it the last time I went to uh, Ulta. Like, can they keep it on the shelf? And I know y'all said, oh, they... Go to go to the website or go to Urban Decay's. I, I I know girls. It's like I said. I'm just trying to minimize, <laughs> minimize. All right, work with me. All right. So I I if y'all don't know this by now, I try a lot of primers. I feel like primers is that, like that's the foundation before you put on your the face. Like that's prepping your canvas. The canvas is your face. 
first of all you you do your skincare routine then you come with the primer like the primer is really prepping that 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 canvas to paint and I, I try a lot of primers i will say pores no more by dr brandt i'm gonna have to say hands down by far is my favorite primer is my favorite primer have i found it again no i'm pretty sure it's somewhere but i'm pretty sure when i seen it it probably, it probably cost a pretty penny and that's the reason why i have not purchased this thing again can i get a sample size because somebody let me know if y'all have seen pores no more by dr brandt if you have tried it do you feel the same way i feel like this is the best primer i have ever tried it's because my pores are terrible right here and when i say pores no more bitch <laughs> the name is is very suiting pause no more okay all right listen fenty um brow wiz listen i want to say it was 19.99 i don't know you know somebody let me know or y'all y'all know y'all already know the price out there um i did do a review on this thing i like it would i buy it again no the only reason why is i do not like retractable pencils i just don't like mechanical pencils i love the regular pencils that you you gotta sharpen but this is a good product it is you know you get your money's worth okay all right y'all i'm getting there i'm getting there i'm getting there all right boss gloss is that what it's called fenty what up but just listen this the this first gloss that she came out with is the bomb i bought a no this ain't boss gloss. i don't know but whatever the first one is this is it right here then when i went to get another one i didn't want to get the original i want to say i got boss gloss or whatever i think that's what it's called that's what i got now and then i also did re-up on this one because that original one man that shit is air i don't care what kind of lips you got your lips gonna look good okay come on maybe you fit me um the face powder listen oh no this is the translucent powder it did in a bitch okay so would i buy this again i forgot what i was using it for it wasn't to set my face because i didn't like this oh i know what i was using it for after i primed my face i would set my face with with this that's what i was using it for so because this ain't this this particular translucent powder ain't for me to be ain't good for women of color but this product is um a good product for to set your prime after you put your prime on your face and uh keep it moving but so would i buy this again no because i use other stuff to you know keep it moving all right y'all minted cosmetics this is a lip liner called dope taupe this is dope like the name is is suiting it's fitting I like it. It's great. Um, it's a nice. As is the product is very nice. I I just can't even describe how how soft it was, and it just it's just a great product. Would I buy this again? Yes. I've been. I got people on my list that I want to re up on or or try new products, and Minted is definitely one of the brands that I want to go back and buy some more product from. Definitely would do this again. Listen, y'all. This Nars um, concealer. Which one is this? I'm on. Woo, y'all. I don't know the name. I want to say it's Amon. I can't remember. I'm sorry, my nose is running, guys. Sorry. Um, but I think I bought this twice. This is the second one. Would I buy this again? No. Um, no, because the what I started using this for was just to finish off my brows. And I'm not paying no $36 for concealer just to finish off my brows because it did not work for the under eye for me it just don't work for me but this is a nice concealer um it was great for the under eye to finish off the under I mean under eye to finish off my brows but but my main purpose was for under and no but it's it's cool this is my holy grail bitches who knows me knows me the mac um pro long wear concealer man what's my color is it third? Is it fourth? I don't know what my color is. I want to say it's like thirty or something. But whatever. This this is my this bag, this bag, this bag, this this the joint that I do my Kim, you know, bag, bag. That's all I got, bag. Okay. 
Listen, LA Girl Pro Long Wear Concealer. What color is this one? This one is Toffee. Toffee's bad. Like, Toffee, I can finish my under eyes. I'm talking, I keep saying under eyes. I finish my brows with the Toffee. Um, if I just want to do something, like, if I want to go supernatural with my skin, but I just want to put something under my eyes real quick, I, I could use this for, to, you know, use Toffee for that. Uh, LA Girl Pro Concealers are dope anyway. No matter whatever color you use, we all know LA Girl Pro Concealers is dope. And that's just the bottom line. But this was the one that just happened to be empty right now. Last, definitely not least, Bay. Another Bay. Matte Pro Longwear uh, Waterproof Concealer num NW45. This is Bay for life okay bay for life that's that's it say less say less so if you hung out with me for 30 damn minutes oh checking out all my damn empties <laughs> shout out to y'all y'all the real mvps out there so beautifuls until the next video